teaching this and I didn't believe what I was teaching. So after I finished all of those years of school and training and working in the church, I said, I can't do this anymore. And so I left the church. And I said, but now what am I going to do? So I began uh, a career of learning and performing uh, music. And I called a teacher of mine and I said, I don't know what's missing, I need some help. And he gave me the name of a person to learn with. And Makam Chalabi came to me and reached out, took my hand and said, I want to show you something. And so he walked me around to the back side of the museum, underneath the Yeshua Kuba, to a place uh, I didn't know where I was. And he said to me, this is place is called the Niaz Panjaresi. He called it the wishing window. He says, let me show you. And so he walked up the steps and stood in front of the Niaz Panjaresi and began to make dua. And I stood there watching him. He said, now it's your turn to pray. I started to pray. And even as I'm talking about it, I can remember it and feel it. I felt like my heart just ripped open. Just ripped open. I didn't know what to say. I began to cry. And I mean, I began to cry. And he taught me some prayers. And there was Quran. And I knew at that moment, Nader that it was going to be my teacher. And from that moment, he has been my teacher, still is my teacher today. You know, and I'm not a child, you know, but I know that this was the man to show me the way, the way of Mevlevilik, uh, the way of Mevlana. And we know, we know that the way of Mevlevi is the way of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right? The Mevlana Yolo, Muhammad Yolo. This is, this is the truth. The way of Mevlavi, the way of Mevlana is the way of Muhammad, is the way of Islam. And I knew I needed to become Muslim. I knew that. So it was that next year where I became a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Muslim, I'm older.